What's going on YouTube? Justin right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about the iOS 12.3, 12.3.1 and 12.4 jailbreak. What is currently going on and what we should expect in the next weeks and months. So you probably know that Derek, a security researcher, has already achieved TFP0 on 12.3.1 a while back. Well, unfortunately, 23 hours ago, he confirmed the fact that the vulnerability still works on iOS 12.4. And he says in here that the word works is in speech marks because the success rate is so low. So apparently the success rate is also low on 12.3.1. He says in here, quote, but the bug sucks and is quite unreliable. However, on iOS 12.4 is either still that low or it's even worse, but it works on iOS 12.4, which is unfortunate because this means that we're not going to see a release of this bug anytime soon. And this bug is required before we can create an iOS 12.3, 12.3.1 jailbreak. So we have to wait for either Derek to release his TFP0 exploit or for another security researcher to publish his findings with TFP0. Unfortunately, that might be months away because iOS 12.4 did not patch any kernel vulnerabilities. As you probably know, Apple posted in here their security contents for iOS 12.4 just a few days ago, back on July 22nd. And as you can see in here, there is core data, there is foundation, there is FaceTime, and there are a ton of WebKit vulnerabilities, including some from the Google Project Zero and some from KeenLab, which is a very well known jailbreak team and security research team, but unfortunately there is absolutely no kernel vulnerability whatsoever patched in iOS 12.4, which means that no security researcher will be able to release their TFP0 kernel exploit for 12.3.1 and 12.3 because since they were not patched in 12.4, they are still obligated to wait for iOS 12. Point whatever in order to have the vulnerability patched before they are allowed to release it to the public. So unfortunately, there will be more months before we see any kernel exploit with TFP0 on 12.3.1. However, Derek might release it in the future once Apple patches it. There are, however, some good news for those of you on iOS 12.3 Beta 1. Pound to Own has achieved and tested Uncover version 3.4.1, which is compatible with iOS 12.3 Beta 1 only with Beta 1 for the moment, but Albi has checked it out and it seems that Cydia works pretty fine on iOS 12.3 Beta 1. So if you're running iOS 12.3 Beta 1 and you are that lucky to be on 12.3 Beta 1, then you will be able to jailbreak in the future with Uncover. So yeah, this might be the very first jailbreak for iOS 12.3, but unfortunately only for beta 1 for the moment. This may support other betas in the future, for example beta 2 and 3, but it will not support the final version of iOS 12.3 for the moment, because the Sock Puppet exploit was patched in iOS 12.3, the final version. So for the moment, the best you can jailbreak on iOS 12.3 is beta 1, and that will come to the uncover. For the moment, iOS 12.4, 12.3.1 and 12.3 are signed. I would definitely recommend it to save your blobs for all of them, because iOS 12.3 and 12.3.1 will definitely stop being signed in the future. iOS 12.3 will probably be the first to go because it's been released on May 13, which is quite a long time ago. So now that the iOS 12.4 is out, Apple will definitely nuke the 12.3. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gio Snow. Until next time, peace out.